Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created the category and product entity in our backend application and we created the post category API as well. In today's video, we will create a page to create a new category in our Angular application and we will call the post category API from there. After that, in the backend, we will create the API to get all the categories from our DB. So let's get started. First of all, in the admin component, we need to create a folder which will hold the services for our admin module. So we can right click here and here we need to choose new folder. And let's name this folder as service. After this, let's right click on this service folder and open it in integrated terminal. And here we need to write the command to create the service, which is ng g for generate as for service. And let's name this as admin. Our admin service is ready. Now let's open this service and write the URL for our backend application which is http localhost 8080 after this uh, let's inject the http client and here we need to import this from angular slash common slash http let's save this file and after this let's go to admin.module.ts and let's import the http client module reactive forms module and the module for our UI library. Let's save this file and let's get back to admin.service.ts and here we need to write a method and let's name this method as add category and in the params this should accept category DTO and this will return an observable of type any and after this let's write a return statement here and here we will call our http dot post method and first of all we need to pass our basic url and then we need to concatenate with the endpoint which is api slash admin slash category and then we need to pass our category dto and after this we need to pass the headers and to build the headers we can call a method create authorization header after this let's create this create authorization header here so we need to write private create authorization header and for the return type it will return http headers and here we need to write the return statement and after that we can write new http headers and let's call the set method and in this set method we need to pass the authorization and then we need to pass the bearer following with our token which we can get from our user storage service dot get token that's it for this create authorization header now let's write this keyword here and our add category api is completed let's save this file and after this we need to create a component inside our components folder so we can right click on the components folder and we can open this in integrated terminal and here we need to write the command which is ng g for generate c for component and component name should be post category our component got created now let's go to admin routing file and here we need to mention our 
category route so we can duplicate this line and the path for this component should be category and let's update the component to post category that's it for the admin routing let's save this file and let's open our post category component in this component uh, let's create a div with the class of container and after this let's add one heading with the text of add category and after the heading let's open the form tag and for the form group i am naming this as category form and for ng submit i am calling the add category method which we will write soon in this form we need the form controls so we can write the mat form field i am setting the appearance as outline and after this we need to give a label to this control which can be done by giving mat label and i am giving name as text because we want to get the category name from this control after the label let's write the input tag and let's give form control name as name and placeholder as name and at the end we need to write the mat error tag to show the validation errors now let's copy this control and let's paste this down here and let's update the label to description and let's update the placeholder from name to description after this we need to update the form control name and after these two controls let's write the tag for the button and that's it for our html file let's save this file and now we can go to our css file and let's post the css as usual you can stop the video and you can copy the css or you can style this component as you required after this let's go to the post category component and here we need to write the form group and the constructor where i injected the form builder the router the mat snack bar and admin server let's click on this quick fix and add all missing imports after the constructor let's write the ng on init method and in this method we can mention the controls for our category form and we can do this by writing this dot fp which is form group and then we need to call the group method and in this method we can mention our controls our first control is name let's set the default value as null and let's set the validators dot required now let's duplicate this line and update the control name to description after this ng on init method let's write the add category method and here in this method first of all we need to write one if condition and in this if condition we will check our category form if it is valid then only we will perform other operations and in the else case we need to mark all the controls as touched so we can show the error messages to the user in the if block let's call our admin service dot add category and here we need to pass the value of our form so we can write this dot category form dot value and after this we need to subscribe this and let's save the response in rest variable and after this let's write the arrow function and in this function first of all we need to check the id from our response and if it is not null then we can show the success message and for that we can use our snack bar and we will open it for 5000 milliseconds and we will show the message as category posted successfully after this we will use our router and we will call the navigate by url method 
and we will redirect our users to admin dashboard. In else case, we will show an error message by opening the snack bar and we will use the response dot message to show the error. That's it for this post category component. Let's save this file and let's run our application. As you can see, our application is up on port 4200. Now let's go to the browser and let's log in as our admin user. After login, let's click on this category button and you can see the form here. Let's write the category name, which can be fitness. And let's copy the name in the description and let's click on add category. As you can see, we got the message that category posted successfully. Now let's check our database if we got the category in our DB. And as you can see, we got one category with the ID one and the name as fitness. Now let's go to our backend application and create the API to get all the categories. Here in the category service implementation, we need to write one public method and that will return a list of category and let's name this method as get all categories. Let's import this list. And in this method, we need to write the return statement. And after this, we need to call the category repository dot find all method. Now let's uh, copy this and mention in the category service. Now let's go to our admin category controller and let's write one get API here. And this will be a public method and this will return one response entity of type list of category. And let's name this method as get all categories. And here we can return response entity dot OK. And here we can call our category service dot get all categories. Let's import this list here. And our get all category API is completed. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will create the API to post new products. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can comment them down below.